wife was in there painting and I said, you gotta come see this. You, you won't believe what I just found. Do you have a backyard? Or if you don't have one right now, perhaps you did when you were younger. Do you remember going out and playing in your yard with your family or friends and just having a blast being there? Did you ever try to dig up parts of it to see what you might find? Because if you did, you may have come across something unique. And if so, you definitely were not the only person to have such an experience. Oh. <laughs> People have been uncovering the strangest things in their backyards for years. So join us as we show you 20 strangest things people have found in their backyards. Number 20. Ancient Roman Home one thing you'll quickly learn about the ancient world and the modern world is that both periods love to just build things right on top of whatever was there before. They didn't need any kind of special commissions or approvals to do such things, they just did them. And that's why you can have something like a home built on top of the ruins of another place. And if you don't believe me, well, you only need to go to Turkey and see for yourself. Some men were doing some work on an area in the backyard of a home when they came across an ancient Roman home buried beneath the soil, one that had been owned by a rather wealthy family at one time. The twist with the story is that the people who were digging up this home weren't exactly doing it in the legal sense, so they were then busted by the authorities. That area of Turkey is rich in historical finds, so it's not surprising that some people tried to get in on the action before the treasures were taken away. If you think this is the only time that an ancient Roman home was found like that, well, you would be wrong. In England, a man was working on his garden when he hit something rather hard, harder than anything that really should have been there. And as a result, he did some more digging and found out that he was hitting part of a mosaic. After bringing in some officials, they figured out that his home had been built upon an entire Roman villa that was built somewhere between 175 and 220 AD. Now you would think that something so big would be hard to build over or seen swallowed up by the ground, but life finds a way. And that's the lesson to be taken from here. When it's in the right conditions and given enough time, nature will swallow things up and man will build over those things as though there had been nothing there but dirt before. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. And now it's time for the fancy topic. After you hear about this one, you'll agree that it is a blast. You could also define it as a farmer discovers huge object in his backyard and is surprised by what it is. If you take a look at the picture, you may recognize what it is that you're staring at. That would be a naval mine, one that's often placed in water to either mine an area or hit ships in wartime in an attempt to sink them. These were something that no shipman ever wanted to hit, as it could also mean the end of everything. But you might have also noticed that this mine is on the land and it doesn't look photoshopped. So what exactly is it that's going on here? Well, allegedly, a man in Holland was doing some work in his back yard when he stumbled upon this naval mine it was from world war ii and so was both very old and very dangerous after all mines like these can still go off under the right circumstances and you wouldn't want to be anywhere near it if those circumstances were met so what would the proper procedure be to handle a situation like this well you would call the police and they would then call the bomb squad and if they determined it was still an active threat they would safely take it away or do something that's called a safe detonation. That means that they would let it explode, but in a place and in such a way that it would not cause harm to anyone. When it comes to bombs, it's better that they simply go away instead of lingering around. Now, whether this story is true or not, nobody can really say. The area the bomb was found in was a big part of World War II, but it's hard to believe that a naval mine would just end up in someone's backyard. But then again, stranger things have happened. Let us know what you think in the comments below using the hashtag fancy topic number 19 10 million dollars in coins in cans 
Now, like I said before, stranger things have happened, and that could be said about anything really. And this next story is something that I know is going to make you jealous in every way possible. In 2014, a couple from Northern California were out on a stroll on their property with their dog. They had done this kind of thing many, many times over the years, but that day seemed like any other day, just like all the others. But then, as they went by an old tree, they noticed that there was something popping up out of the ground. And what they found was a can. Now that's not incredibly interesting. That was until they looked inside and saw that within that can was a set of gold coins. And by a set, I mean a very, very large collection. Nearly all of the 1,427 coins dated from 1847 to 1894. They were in uncirculated mint condition, and they were even separated by their date so that they could be in chronological order. In other words, they weren't just thrown away by somebody, they were meticulously placed in these cans and then buried for some unknown reason. While the coins on their own were only rated to be $5, $10, or $20, when you add in the historical value, plus the condition they were in, the price of them came to a whopping $10 million. Now obviously there are a lot of questions that can go along with a find like this, not the least of which is why anyone would bury those kind of coins and then not come back for them. It was said that apparently the area where the tree was located used to be next to a walking path, so it is possible that somebody buried them there with the intent of coming back later, but they didn't, and thus the couple who owned the property became very, very wealthy. Number 18. A Baby Armadillo now how about something that might make you jealous for a different reason. In 2017, a woman would be in her backyard when she realized that she had a visitor. That visitor was none other than a baby armadillo, which is not really the kind of animal you would expect to find in a person's backyard, and yet there it was. The woman looked for the mother to the creature, but they weren't around, so she then decided to name it Dilly and take care of it in such a way that would not interfere with its natural instincts. She would help it to find water and lead it to where the bugs were so that it could eat, and the two got close enough that when the baby armadillo heard her voice, he would actually react to it. Now before you hope that such a creature winds up in your backyard, it's for the best that you leave them alone or even call animal control so that they can be taken back to their natural habitat. Number 17. Giant Earthworm when you were young, you probably loved finding worms in the dirt and either toying with them or eating them if you were really gross. But never forget, there was a children's book about how to eat fried worms, so worms and kids are kind of tied to each other whether the parents want to admit it or not. Anyways, in the case of Barnaby Domigan, he was playing in his mother's garden at their home in Christchurch when he came across something quite unexpected. It would be a giant earthworm, one that was over three feet long. As you can see in the pictures, it truly was a giant and Barnaby was over the moon about it. But his mother, well, not so much. She actually referred to the thing as the stuff of nightmares, and we can all sympathize with her because it would indeed be something like that in my eyes as well. Number 16. Devil Fingers Now, if any of you have watched The Last of Us on HBO, you'll definitely be nervous about this next tale. There are certain things that grow in places all over the world. That's not exactly news. However, if you live in Australia or New Zealand, you might find an odd egg sack in your backyard at some point. And if so, you should absolutely leave it alone because it's not an egg sack. It's actually a fungus known as devil fingers. Devil fingers don't grow from the ground like normal fungi. Oh no, they sprout from egg sack type affairs. And the reason that they're called devil fingers is because they have a look about them after they hatch that will absolutely chill you to the bone. And uh, while it's unproven, it's said that their spores may just infect you and cause you to turn into a monster. Number 15. Ice Age Bones when you think about Las Vegas, you probably think about the casinos, the bright lights, and the people who are truly bold enough to live there. But one thing you don't really think about are ancient bones being found. That's exactly what took place though with one family in Las Vegas. They were doing some renovations on their home, and as the team was working on the pool, 
they found some ancient bones. But how ancient, you may ask? Well, 14,000 years old, which, according to scientists, would place them around the last ice age on the planet. Now, you may be thinking, but Las Vegas is a desert. Why would people live there back then? However, you forget that it's only a desert now. In the ice age, many speculate that the place was actually a marsh, and thus someone could have wandered there and made it a home. Number 14. Bowling Balls Now, the next find is just simply odd, so prepare yourself. This story stars homeowner David Olson, who lived in Michigan when he was doing some housework. Specifically, he was taking out some stairs in his backyard, and when he did, he saw something poking out of the dirt. Suspicious about the entire thing, he then dug it up to find that he was looking at a Brunswick bowling ball. After digging it up, he realized there was another one, and then another one, and then another one, and eventually, after it was all said and done, he had discovered 158 Brunswick bowling bowling balls in his backyard. Not something that anyone would have guessed that he'd find. So how exactly did it happen? Well, the balls in question were imperfect, and the people at the now closed Brunswick factory let employees take home the balls that they couldn't sell. The previous homeowner apparently used them as a kind of base for his construction. Number 13. A Giant Rattlesnake while I've listed some really cool and unique things to be found in your backyard, that doesn't mean that you can't find anything scary there as well. In this case, a couple had a war with rattlesnakes that infested their neighborhood, and their yard especially. At one point, they found a five-foot-long rattlesnake in their yard, and you know what they did with it? They beat it with a shovel until it was dead. I'm not joking but I wish that I was. By the lady's own admission, she believed in survival of the fittest, and that meant that they were going to kill as many snakes as they could find so that the snakes didn't hurt anyone else. Now, surely enough, they killed almost 20 snakes in a short period of time, and their neighbors helped to add to that total, and here you thought the snake was the most dangerous part of this story. Number 12, Mastodon. We'll now head back to the Ice Age for a bit to talk about another find that was made from that era in somebody's backyard. Water would drip on it, it would drip down into the foundation. Here we are in Michigan again, where a man was having his backyard dug up so that he could have a pond put in, but as they were digging up the ground, they found the bones of a mastodon. More specifically, the 42 massive bones were from a 37-year-old male mastodon believed to be between 10,000 and 14,000 years ago. So not only did he find the bones in his backyard, he basically had an entire set. He would also be allowed to keep some of those bones and the rest he gave to the nearby museum. But nothing that pond does will top the story that came from making it. Number 11, Pet Alligator. Now, believe it or not, this is not a story that's set in Florida. However, there are a few of those later. Adding to your likely disbelief, it's not uncommon for people to try and have an alligator or a crocodile as a pet. So long as you can do it legally in your state and meet certain conditions, you can actually have one. But in this case, this would be in Texas, where a woman had stolen an alligator from a zoo and kept it as a pet for about 20 years before it was found that she had taken it. That's, well, something. The irony is that the reason it was discovered at all was because of an investigation for an entirely different zoo incident. Still though, all's well that ends well, right? Number 10, $2,000 in cash. Now, admittedly, if you were going to find a store of cash hidden in your backyard, you may not question it. You may see it as good fortune and then go on about your merry life. But in this case, a New Jersey couple were doing some renovations to their home when one of them began to do work on the porch. That's when the husband dug into it and soon found some rolled up wads of cash. Those wads in total equaled out to $2,000. It was in there painting 
And I said, you gotta come see this. You, you won't believe what I just found. But that's not even the biggest twist of the bunch. The money was actually from 1934 and it was in excellent condition. So where did that money come from? Well, that's an answer that nobody can give, but it is something to speculate about. The man who found it thought that it may have been from a bank robbery or that someone was storing money during the peak of the Great Depression. Either way, it makes for one heck of a great find. Number 9. Diamond Carrot Picture this story. A woman is in her garden tending to her crops and plants when she realizes that she had lost her wedding ring. She searches the garden, but cannot find it, and believes that she had lost it. Fast forward to 13 years later, and that woman's daughter found the ring, but where was it? Well, it was actually around a misshapen carrot. No, I'm not making it up. Take a look at that carrot. Apparently, it had grown through the ring, which had led to its shape. The daughter then called up her mother and reunited her with the ring. There are a lot of elements here that are crazy to think about, but sometimes things really do work out, even if it does take a while to happen. Number 8. Dinosaur Bones now, that's something that could be expected to be found in a backyard, but admittedly not in the kind of backyard that we're going to look at today. You see, Tim Breeze and his son Wiley were in the backyard of a grocery when Wiley came across a bone in the ground. Tim, who is a zookeeper, couldn't tell what the bone was at first, and even when they realized that it could be something special, it took them quite a while to get all of the permits to further dig up near the grocery store so that they could get more proof. Now, at first, Tim didn't do Wiley any kind of favors, as he thought it was nothing more than a turtle bone. But he eventually wised up, and then realized that it was actually a dinosaur bone. After the bones were then dug out of the ground, archaeologists determined that it was a nodosaur, which is a dinosaur about the size of a pony, and that the bones were around 100 million years old. The other reason that this particular find is so amazing is that the team that helped to dig up the bones admitted that finding dinosaurs where they did was extremely unlikely. Number 7. A Ferrari now, I've already shown you some weird things on this list, but I'm about to talk about something that's going to blow your mind in another way with this blast from the past. This took place in Los Angeles, California back in 1978, and I'll set the scene for you. It was a lovely day in Los Angeles, and some children were out playing in the backyard of a home, just minding their own business. One of them came up with the idea to begin digging in the dirt and the mud to see what they could find. And oh, they did find something. At first, they didn't know what it was, but then they realized that it was something from a car. They then brought in some adults who eventually called the police and the detective brought in some support to get whatever it was out of the ground. To their shock, surprise, and amazement, they had found a Ferrari buried in the backyard, and it wasn't really in too bad a condition, believe it or not. This is where the story takes an even bigger turn, though. They were able to trace the car back to a purchase from 1974 and a police report that said that the car had been stolen just two months after being purchased. There was no trace of the car, so the insurance company paid the original owner and life simply went on. That was until the Ferrari was discovered in the backyard of this home. Now, before you say, well, those homeowners did it, they actually did not. They weren't even in the house at the time. Plus, how stupid would you have to be to steal a car and then bury it in your own backyard? Not to mention, how did someone even bury a Ferrari in the backyard without anyone noticing it in the 1970s? Because there were a lot of people outside at that time. They weren't all indoors on TikTok burning their brains away. So yeah, this is one mystery that likely will not be figured out anytime soon. Number 6. Lawn Bubble Now, I'll admit, I'm not exactly sure what was meant by Lawn Bubble, either before or after it's even been explained to me. However, a homeowner went out into their backyard after a heavy rainfall, and they found that it had a bubble in it. Or, in another term, it had an inflated patch. The bizarre bubbles are usually caused when water gets trapped between a lawn and a membrane that's laid down to limit weed growth underneath. The water can't drain, and it causes the ground to balloon, so it causes quite the unique visual. But what did the homeowner do? Well, he jumped on the bubble, and when that didn't work, he used a stick to pop it. Oh. <laughs> 
So yeah, that happened, and if you have that same kind of membrane, you might well have to burst some bubbles before too long. Number 5. A Bear in a Tree Now, if I were to list some of the animals that you would not want to see in your backyard, a bear may well be one of them for some obvious reasons. The first obvious reason is that bears are big and powerful. They can easily get into your home if they wanted to, and when they do, nothing is safe from them. And before you ask, yes, there have been cases of bears sneaking into people's homes, but that's not what I'm talking about today. Rather, I'm talking about this story, which comes out of West Hartford, Connecticut, where a bear had found the perfect place to rest and hibernate. It was a tree with a hole inside of it. Now, that just so happened to reside in a woman's backyard, so imagine the shock that she felt when she first witnessed that bear. When the word spread of the bear, people wondered if the local authorities would do anything about about it, and the answer was a simple no. They were more than happy to let it rest in that tree, so long as it didn't hurt anyone, and it didn't. In fact, by the time that it had made the news, it had already been in that tree for about six weeks. And so, the homeowner was honestly fine with letting the bear stay in the tree, because it wasn't bothering her, and she was rather happy to see it every day. Apparently, bears have been coming into that area much more often, though the idea of one climbing a tree to rest inside of a hole is still something that people would need to see to believe. And just to be clear, you should never want this to happen in an area near you, because your results may vary. Number 4. Spiders on a Fence in 2021 in New South Wales, Australia, there was some massive flooding that was taking place in certain areas of the region. And as you may well imagine, that would get all of the animals and creatures and people to react in a certain way so that they could get away from the raging torrents. The local spiders of one man's house decided that the best way to get away from the rising waters would be to climb his fence and stay there. Now, if it was one or even two spiders or maybe even a dozen, it might make you anxious, but it probably probably wouldn't freak you out, but as the video taken by the man shows, he had an absolute army of spiders crawling all over his fence, and I'm freaking out just thinking about what may be happening in my own backyard right now. Seriously, imagine that happened in a day where you didn't even look in the backyard, and then you go out the next day and then there they all are. These are the kind of things that nightmares are made of, and I'm simply moving on as a result. Number 3. Lizard versus People Remember the bear story from a couple entries ago? Well, this is the version that they might have feared would have happened. But instead of a bear attacking someone, it's a great big lizard. In fact, it's a six foot long water monitor lizard, and it too decided to make its home in a family's backyard. But the key difference here is that it's not peacefully sleeping in a tree or in a little spot of water and letting the family go on with their lives. Oh no. Instead, it terrorized them to the point where they were getting news attention because of it taking place. Now you may wonder, didn't animal control or some other fancy agency try to get rid of it? The answer is yes, it did, and they just kept on failing. Mainly because the lizard didn't do like the bear did and linger around, it would walk around the neighborhood and then eventually return to the family's home later. Even the homeowner tried to get the lizard away, but he said that the lizard realized what the tactic was was and booked it in the opposite direction. And it's not hard to see why the lizard is so protective of its new home. It has everything it could want, and the neighbors have said that it would go by the lake to relax or even sunbathe in the backyard of a house. In other words, this is a lizard that knows what it wants, and it's not going to give it up without a fight. So yes, it's not exactly the kind of animal that you would want in your backyard, because it would be the worst kind of house guest ever. Oh, and do you want to know where this event took place? in Florida, because of course it was Florida. Number 2. A Bull Shark Now, how Florida would it be for someone to be attacked in their own backyard by a bull shark? Oh, Florida, you never fail to disappoint. The story doesn't simply stop there, though, because there's much more to the madness. You see, this took place in Bonita Springs in 2015. A man in his condo with his family was looking outside at the open water in his backyard when he noticed the eight to nine foot bull shark swimming around without a care in the world. 
And for those who don't know, the bull shark is one of the most aggressive and dangerous kind of sharks in the world. They're known for their tendencies and have absolutely attacked and killed humans in the past. So you could understand why the people in Florida living in that condo would want the shark gone ASAP. But are you ready for the twist? Well, you may be wondering, why would a shark get so close to land like that? According to residents, one of the people in the condo kept chumming the water so that the sharks would come closer. Only in Florida would you find someone who says, hey, you know what would be cool and a great idea? Getting a shark right next to the condo. What could possibly go wrong? Number 1. Civil War Cannonballs well, the line is that we should end with a bang, and cannonballs would certainly fulfill such a thing. Back in 2016, a group of eight cannonballs were found in a place called Holly Hill, and they were eventually determined to have been a part of the Civil War. Now, apparently, a handyman was working on the home and came across the cannonballs. I'm sure that he had quite a shocked look on his face when he found them, because I would have as well. Experts at the time would say that the cannonballs were often used in pairs that were connected by a chain, also known as chain shot. They were fired at ships, and the attached cannonballs would rip through rigging and masts, a clever way to do some maximum damage. Remember, at the time, if the mast of a ship was beyond repair, you were dead in the water. The good news is that after some x-rays were completed on the cannonballs, they were found not to be a threat as they didn't have any explosives in them. As such, they did not need to have a safe detonation. Still though, even if you do think that something like that is inert, you should certainly call the experts to check just to make sure. That's all from the realm of backyards and how people have found some of the craziest things inside of them. Which of these tales of backyard finds really blew your mind? And which of them would you have loved to find in your own backyard? Are there other backyard finds that could top the ones I listed today? Be sure to let me know all about it in the comments down below. Check out the other cool things that are showing up on the screen, and I will see you next time.